Hey RVers, I'm Mikey B with Beckley's RVs. Behind me is an all new teardrop that you have to see. We're gonna go through the inside and outsides of the Extreme Outdoors Little Guy Shadow. It is shadowing the competition with all these features. Let's go take a look. So you probably have heard the little guy tag, the original teardrop that's really blown up our RV industry. This is the next phase and I feel like it's gonna be the next phenomenon, the little guy shadow. We're gonna go through some of the, crew, uh, the cool features on the outside and I've gotta start with the door side. First and foremost, it's you just see a different door, a bigger door, a wider door that allows you to get in and out, especially if your hands are full and the rain's on your back. But while we're here, I love the use that they've integrated with the windows. It's acrylic double pane windows, and the door itself feels so much thicker. So I think it's gonna allow me to be able to get into a lot of different climates, uh, early, get out camping earlier in the spring, or get uh, stay out camping later in the fall. On the side, we have entertainment, so I can have my pa partio patio time. I have electric and I have uh, uh, HDMI and cable hookup, and this slot here allows me to uh, bring the TV from the outside and slide it there. So if I got a nice day, I can catch up on maybe some of my sports or anything. But on this door side, other than patio patio time, I even have a grill hookup here. It's a it's a um, a piece of metal here that allows me to attach a uh, flat top or a two burner stove if we want to do so. But hey, if we're going to have all this uh, gear and gadgets with us, right? We have a nice, awesome um, crossbar kit up here. It's heavy duty. They'll be able to tie off my maybe a bike rack or a canoe or any of maybe this large, um, say like a tule rack system where you might have a lot of uh, compo components to be able to store up there. And you can easily access it from the side panels here, the diamond plating that they've got. Come with me to the back immediately see this awesome graphic that I'm just going to be proud of doing of I go where I'm towed I love that they bring them back some of the classic but when I open this door it just feels heavier it feels thicker again it's going to protect me against all the different weather elements whether it's main uh, summer days that's just bla uh, blazing some hot temperatures I'll stay cooler inside or maybe it's a cool weather day and I can stay nice and warm inside but back here, I just immediately, once I pop the door, I see the difference. Much bigger, much deeper cabinets um, and counter space. In the traditional tag, you usually would have like a, a soft cooler. They've gone back to their roots and installed a nice big Coleman cooler. That way I can keep a lot more food or beverages cold on my trips. I'm gonna have storage with a lot of uh, drawers and cabinets, especially up top here. I've got, again, being a deeper uh, backside here on this clamshell um, hatch, I've got a lot of places that I could stow, like maybe a coffee pot, um, getting into the air fryers, that kind of thing. I still maintain my two burner propane stove, but what they've done is upgraded it with a cover. That way I've got a little bit more prep area if I need. I still have a sink. I have some speakers out there so I can bla uh, blaze my tunes. And all this stuff here is you've got push button fingertip controls for you. And last side, but not least, my utility side. I have plenty of things here to work with. I've got my electric, my cable, my water. I even have a spray port in case I wanna hose off anything like my feet or maybe some big pots and pans. But stick with us to the end. There's a little sneak peek on what they do with a table on the inside. But I got a point right here. This is a slot that allows me to put a table base, a swing arm with a table here. So again, I can maximize my prep area, my kitchen area, and really enjoy the outdoors while I'm getting all the good uh, br uh, breakfast, lunch, and dinner meals together. What do you think? All right, you gotta wait till the end. This contraption surprised me on the inside when we were fiddling with this new camper but we are inside the extreme outdoors little guy shadow that is just phenomenal cool uh, new spin on the teardrop over some of the other ones that are out in the rv industry so make sure you put this on your shopping list but let's go through all the features on the inside starting up front i've got the stargazer window it's a double uh, pane acrylic window i love these windows we've seen them in some uh, big 
expensive motorhomes in the years past that are trickling down into these teardrops. But I love the fact that it's secure with the four latches to give me a really nice seal on that window in those extreme uh, rain rainstorms. But beyond that, I could I could have the fun, uh, functionality to slightly crack it open just to let, uh, vent a little bit of air. Or if I've got all of them unlatched, swing it out, tighten up my struts on each side. And now I have the ability to open and close at my leisure however um, much I want to open the window as opposed to a lot of the other RV windows or you get what you get. It's either open or close and maybe even just a little hair of, of open at that. Beyond that, I love the use that these windows do with the screen and the nightshade. So I have, again, the flexibility to do what the heck I want. If it's a nice hot day on the outside, but I don't want all that heat coming in, obviously, or um, obviously even at night for privacy, I have the knockout shade or the dark shade side of it. But otherwise, hey, I'm out camping. I love the outdoors. I've got a little bit of screen here, especially if the window's open to keep the bugs out and just be able to get a little bit of uh, light coming through up front here at, I guess you would say the head of your bed there's a lot of stuff going on they've maintained a, um, a little cubby holes on each side so I could throw some uh, goodies inside there I've got a nice shelf that I can use for maybe to hold my cell phone hold some books if I'm, I'm bringing bring along to read even a couple cup holders here that are lit up with the charging stations on them both spots so whether I'm at a campground that I have uh, the camper hooked up to electric. I have 110 outlets, or I also have the 12 volt hookups that I can run off my battery. And the battery, the nice thing is it's hooked to on top on the roof. We'll get to it a little bit later, but we have a solar panel. Um, moving on to this side, of course, you have the doors on each side. So again, you got the flexibility to keep them both open to get some nice crosswinds, do something with your windows if you choose. Hop into the back. We have storage at the top. Of course, the TV, if you saw the beginning, uh, we had that uh, similar looking bracket on the outside. I can bring the TV back inside and hook it here and it's easy up and down and um, disconnect your, your uh, cables here. I have air conditioner, even if I'm um, at a campground that has electric, it's 100 degrees outside. I have, a, I have a window shaker, if you will, inside my camper to chill me out. It might be too much, but hey, we're out camping. We've gotta be relaxed and comfortable. A little slide out tray so I can throw maybe some more, uh, maybe a couple beverages, uh, a book or two, or anything else that, that we may need a little bit of a tabletop. Over here in this corner, I'm throwing all my tunes. I've got a Jensen stereo system that's gonna be able to play the inside speakers, outside speakers, or both at the same time if, if you want. And certainly hook up your Bluetooth if you got some of your favorite tunes on your phone. Um, again, more power outlets, so either 12 volt or 110 gives me that flexibility or the, um, the versatility to, regardless of where I'm camping with far as uh, what kind of income power source that I have. And last but not least, I mentioned something about a solar panel. Yes, indeed you do. You have a solar panel on the roof uh, with the solar charger uh, control um, uh, module here that allows me to see what I'm using, what I'm bringing in, etc. So it's a nice visibility um, uh, factor there that, uh, that I can just see what the heck is going on, especially if I'm out dry camping or boondocking. And on the roof side, we have a bunch of lights that I'll be able to turn on to give me some of that illumination at night or if it's dark, uh, dark day, like maybe like today. And the fantastic fan. If you see my other videos, I'm all about these fans. They're fantastically great. We have um, four speed. We can crack open a window with those acrylic windows that we have turn this on and this is really going to move a high volume amount of air. So if we're not blessed with going to a campground with electric and having uh, be able to run the AC, trust me guys, you have to try it. You got to get one of these if you don't have them in your current camper. That moves a severe amount of volume of air to cool me down. All right, so if you're still with me, there was a teaser I kind of left out. There's something cool about this camper that really surprised us when we first got into it. I love it, I love it, I love it. Little guy has a cool twist, cool uh, spin on the teardrop. They, if you've seen their uh, campers before, you've seen their micro mini. I feel like some of that idea came in into play when they were designing this shadow. I'm gonna step out here in a sec. 
so a lot of the other teardrops in this uh, size have some storage underneath the cushions. Lift up, it's not much, it's maybe like an inch or two, but it gives you the ability to throw like maybe your power cord, a couple leveling blocks, etc. So as we were setting up, getting ready for the video, I did a little snooping around and lifted the cushion because I thought the cushion looked a little different. I'm like, whoa, Mikey B, what is this? Check this out. This is a table. And again, if you watch the beginning or watch the outside, there was a slot that is on the outside that looks very similar to this piece. And what it's designed to do is to be able to throw these uh, legs up into these slots, throw your tabletop on the swing bar here, swing arm. And I love the fact that they're giving you two. So if you have one on the outside, you could still maintain one on the inside. Once you've got the height and the adjustment set, you'll be able to snug up these um, pivoting points. But man, check this out. Now I have a dual sided table with an upright with these cushions that easily uh, collapse into like a sofa back. And I have a place to be able to eat, uh, play cards, do whatever in those extreme uh, climates, maybe like uh, hot weather or just it's a downpour. So super cool kudos to little guy recessing the floor, giving me a little bit of foot space, throwing these table options in here to be able to have more uh, usage out of my camper, especially if we get not so great days. So again, the extreme outdoors little guy shadow with this feature alone, it is shadowing the competition. Got to check it out. Look for, look for it on our uh, website, Beckley's RVs, little guy shadow. All right, teardrop that's gonna shadow the competition. The Extreme Outdoors Little Guy Shadow. What do you think, the inside and outside features, do you agree? Give us a like, thumbs up, comment below on any questions that you have or anything that you wanna see further in depth. And show us some love, smash that subscribe button. I'm Mikey B with Beckley's RVs. I hope you enjoyed the video today. We'll see you at the campsites.